we are now at business level four, free to play solo. Yes, I needed that, I needed that. I don't care if I got hit, I needed that. All right, guys, welcome to episode 12 of Last Day on Earth, free to play solo. This is really kind of the second episode of this series. We had the first 10 episodes were geared around the single player version and now we are in the slums. I forgot about this. So uh, I've been on vacation doing some things. So um, this is a little sad. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna make us do uh, some of this stuff to get out of the slums, which this is not bad at all. I guess we'll do this, but it's annoying. Let's see if we have the coins. I mean, we're free to play, so we didn't buy any coins, but oh, nice. Okay, we have the coins. I guess that's better than energy. Okay, so we're back at the crater. Use those coins. I don't know how many coins I actually have. Let's see. Okay, we had 50. I guess that's from the original 50 that you get. And we are going to work on, we need one animal hide, and then we get another spot for our workbench. So we got to work towards that. And then we've got this workbench, which we need to get this going as well personal storage here's some wood we got quite a bit of stuff in here we just need that animal hide and we're set for the next workbench let's go ahead and get our workbench working again done let's see if we got any new free stuff yep got some more free stuff all right let's get working on some coal Put that away okay so we got i guess these are my team members in the fake clan. Well, let's go get some animal hide. And in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and try to do three tournaments because that tournaments are where you get the tickets. So we need to pick up three things, four things. There we go, five things. Okay, except let's get the tournament going and tournament has started. Well, look, I already got a, a golden zombie right there. Let's do this. Golden zombie, 20 points. Let's go look in the yellow zone, see if we can find some deer. I'm hoping that this is just me being unlucky because not getting any rawhide, I mean, how are we gonna get any leather if we're never gonna get rawhide? So, all right, let's look around. We're looking for golden zombies and we're looking for deer and chests. We definitely wanna get as many chests as possible. Ooh, leather strips, I love it. Yes, I needed that. I needed that. I don't care if I got hit. I needed that raw hide to get to the next level. Okay, we did it. We got the raw hide. I'm going back in because I want to get that chest. And while I'm here, I might as well kill all the deer that I can. But we got what we needed. I'm sad that there is not a single golden zombie in this entire zone, it seems like. Look at that. That's two toxic spitters together. I'm not gonna be able to take out both of them with this stupid spear. I need a P2. This is annoying. All right, let's run home. I really wanna start making some crowbars and start winning some tournaments, but how hard it is to get rawhide, much less leather. This is uh, not looking good right now. All right, we're here. Let's go ahead and pee here on the street. You know, I'm not in the slums anymore, but this is still seems to be allowed. No one's getting me in trouble. There we go, we finished that. We are now at business level four, free to play solo. Here we go. I can make another workbench and we've got all of these things. So I'm going to cash that in, cash those in. And I think I have all this stuff. So let's go, let's go see if we have it. All right, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Boom, boom, boom. All right, popularity has increased on my shop. So that gives me more visitors, which I don't know exactly how that works as far as district popularity, but at least, you know, if you're gonna play solo, then you're gonna have to work with that. So here we go. Ooh, backpack, that's cheap. We can do that. 
and wood. That's easy. All right, let's put these leather straps away, put that away. All right, we do not have enough wood. We're gonna go have to farm some wood. That's not too big of a deal. Let's go ahead and put these away where they belong. Oh, actually, what am I doing? If I'm building a backpack, ah, oh, yes. I'm so glad that backpacks do not require raw hide right now. Put those there and cash that in. That's easy. Random blueprint. I want to know what my random blueprint's going to be. Okay, we need wood and what else do we need? Let's let's see what we're going to build. Okay, in order to get any of these, we need to be business level 7. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with this melting furnace. Let's see how much it costs. That's pretty cheap. So we're going to go ahead and finish the melting furnace, get some things going. We may not keep it, just like the woodworking bench, we may not keep that going, but for now we are. Let's grab all of this stuff, rope. All right, I, I've already forgot. All right, oh, so close. So we need two stone, that is hilarious. I, man, I thought I had more stone, I guess not. Okay, well, let's put everything away. We'll get some stone while we're there. We need wood and we need stone. Wood and stone, that's, that's pretty basic. You know what, we'll go ahead and go here. I think we'll be able to get enough wood, even though we're going to a stone zone, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just go to a, a wood zone afterwards. All right, we're looking for a golden zombie chest, some stone, some wood, pretty basic stuff. Obviously, we need lots of fiber, always. Okay, so we have done it. We have gotten a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone. Got a few other good things. There is a minute and 45 seconds left. And so what, we're just gonna look at what we can get. Right now we're at 100 tickets. We're pretty safely in the 100 tickets. It'd be nice if we could get into the 150, but not that big of a deal. Let's see how, how many points we're gonna have to get to get there. So in order to get to 15th, we're gonna need to get 16 points. That's pretty easy, so I think we can do that. Let's go ahead and run to a zone that might have a golden zombie. That'll make it a little bit easier to hit that threshold. Wow, an unguarded chest. Okay, well we have 29 seconds left, so we need to look around. No golden zombies, just not feeling the luck today. Not good. Well, we're, f we're not gonna get 15th with 11 seconds left without a golden zombie, so. We're just gonna stay, we're gonna top 20, that's 100 tickets, that's easy, easy going. Oh, oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I, I still get scared by the fireworks. Okay, I want this knife. Perfect, all right, let's go open another chest. Ooh, leather. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna kill this deer wall. It's just an easy, easy prey. And not what we're wanting, but still something. Man, that, they made rawhide really rare in Sector 7. Not what I was expecting. All right, let's get out of here. All right, take all, we got our 100 tickets. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go back in. Let's start the next tournament. Just see kind of what we're up against. And that way we get the ball rolling on it. I'm only doing these. These episodes are only about an hour long anyway. So, all right. So let's wait. Is the tournament over? They changed it only one tournament a day? What's going on? Wow. You know what I just realized? Last time I did this free to play episode, I only did two tournaments. And I guess even though it's been like eight days, and they're just now saying, oh, okay, you did your three tournaments, you have to wait 24 hours. So that really stinks. I, I did not realize that. So that's good to know. That's good to know that if you're gonna do your three tournaments, do them all together. And then that way you'll reset the three tournaments later on. But yeah, we're done. 
No more tournaments until 24 hours from now. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, go over here, turn that in, move this here, turn that in. All right, what are we gonna get for our random blueprint? Hopefully, I mean, I already have a, a really good weapon, so really, the only thing, I mean, and I'm gonna have to get a lot of armor before I get the next tier, so it'll probably be armor, but I don't know if there's anything I'm really excited about getting right now. There we go, that's cool. New workbenches. Ooh, oh, that's right, the, the new set of workbenches. That would be really nice to have. And this is a pretty easy, easy thing to get. So let's go for empty can and berries. Let's see if we can get this. Berries, empty can, perfect. Finalize, yes, okay, a new workbench. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Okay, we need iron, easy. Cloth, water, we can get this. All right, water, cloth, let's make some iron. All right, let's go ahead and start making some iron. Finalize, perfect. Got, that's gonna be nine iron, it's perfect. Top that off, this is great. Okay, we are doing really well there. Okay, the iron will come uh, in time. We'll cash in everything else. We just need the iron, which we gotta wait for the furnace to get going. We'll go shopping in the meantime so let's put all this stuff away okay these are awesome but they're taking up too much space in my inventory and i bet you i can get some pretty good tickets from them so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to free to play for is it here we go and we're just gonna charge a lot for these because they're they're kind of rare uh and then leather strips are pretty rare but not as rare and uh, so we're gonna charge a little bit extra for those, but not much. Um, we're just gonna keep this going because we, the, honestly, if no one buys them, we can still use them later. We'll just keep them here and um, and then we'll come over to, uh, and then essentially they're just five extra slots because we're keeping them there. It's keeping our inventory here more empty. And then if no one buys them, then we can just, you know, take them back when we need them. So if you are only selling something to keep room, then sometimes it's nice to keep the price real high. So, but if you're trying to get tickets and you want to look, I am, or the research team's working on making a video on all the prices, but let's go shopping a little bit. What we need is we need some iron, maybe. Um, we, we need some things that we're not going to be building. Uh, so let's go look for that. All right, we've got 800 tickets. We gotta be real careful about what we buy and what we don't buy. So there's a lot of stuff we can't even buy here, but we don't need any of the any of these things uh, right now. I don't need any of that. What we really need is some of the resources that you can make with workbenches. So let's see. Okay, this guy's got some iron wire. Um, and, or one iron wire. Okay, that's not worth it. And this guy's got some iron plates. That's kind of cool. That could be useful. Uh, but definitely not what we're needing to do right now. And really, when I think about it, the only thing worth buying right now is iron bars. So let's go, let's go searching a little bit more. Mr. Urban! Hey! All right, well, I think that's the real one, or maybe not, I don't know. No, it's, it's he's someone just from his clan. Ooh, this guy's got iron bars. Ah, oh, they're gonna buy it before I get there, aren't they? All right, yep, they bought it before I even got there. Well, it confirms how, uh, how much people are wanting to buy iron bars, so I need to start selling iron bars. Wow, this is crazy. All right, guys, we are back home, and what we learned from this is that iron bars are a hot commodity right now. So we're gonna use these first five iron bars to upgrade that next, get that next workbench slot. But after that, we're gonna start selling a ton of iron bars. So while we're waiting for this to finish, which, you know, it's gonna be about nine minutes, let's go farm a ton of iron so that we can keep this thing running, you know, 24 seven, we're just going to be an iron factory. And then, because we're going to be working with iron, our next workbench, we need to decide. Should we go with a work? Uh, should we go with like a 
you know, something that can make plates and nails, or should we go with something that can make iron wire? You guys let me know. That's going to be in the next episode. Uh, we're going to pr probably unlock it in this episode, but we're not going to build that until the next episode. So let's go farm a bunch of iron. Okay, the tournament symbol's back, so it looks like maybe, I, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly why it disappeared for a while. Uh, hopefully we can do our three tournaments a day, and hopefully I was wrong about that. We'll see. All right, yeah, it looks like the tournaments are going to be available after all, so. What in the world? The blood spattered, but Oh, whatever. All right, we need to do three, th five things. Three, four, five. Accept tournament time. Let's do this. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go find some more iron in the yellow zone. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the stuff that I'm not gonna want anyways. Seems like beef, you know, steak is gonna be the way to heal in, in sector seven. We need to start turning that into steak so that we can have a, a new source of food. Fifty-six iron, and I think that's it. We're not gonna get away with any more than that. So, um, we do not have the healing to continue. So let's go home. Let's start putting this iron away. Let's uh, upgrade to that next business level. Okay, we are back. Let's see if uh, we finished what we needed to finish. Yes. Okay, we got it. So let's go ahead and top that off. Keep this going. We're gonna just keep this running have furnaces going in fact i'm a little tempted to build a second furnace and just keep producing a ton of iron but i don't know if i want to do do that completely because iron is pretty quick here we go we got another workbench and uh and then the next one's going to be popularity man we have a lot of this stuff we do not have uh enough rawhide i don't think but let's go check let's see if we have the rawhide yeah no rawhide that's fine. We knew we knew it was going to be rare. Okay. Look at that. This is looking good. Let's go ahead and grab some meat and this. Put it where it belongs. Okay, so we need six rawhide. We need three more rawhide, and that will get us what we need um, to get to that next, you know, business level. But we're looking pretty good. I mean, this is pretty good for... We've only been playing this game for two hours now. Not even two hours. So... We've got a lot of progress in just two hours. Let's uh, go ahead and let's look at this. So th this is where you guys can vote. Do you guys want me to build a workbench? Which the benefit, of course, is if we're building a lot of iron, we could start, you know, uh, making iron plates. We could have nails. Uh, we can probably make springs. I'm not exactly sure what is required to make springs. But the point is the workbench can use a lot of that iron. Um, and that's it. Oh, never mind. I, I totally was thinking about the drawing bench, which we need to get up to the business level 18 before we can even produce iron wire, uh, or the lathe. So thank you, sweetheart. My daughter just made this for me. That's her. She's three. So it's beautiful. Love it. Um, okay, so so this is that answers our questions. We are definitely going to be building the workbench, and then our next workbench might either be the lathe or the wire cutter. 
Um, but here we go. We're, we're, we have almost all of this. We're going to have to buy some stone bricks because we're not going to be able to produce that ourselves. But that should be pretty cheap. And, and then everything else we can make on our own. So that we either have or we're making on our own. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. And we're going to just start cranking out a bunch of iron products so that we can start making tickets because we are now down to 35 tickets. We have enough for the next business level, but after that, we are stuck. Uh, we do not have enough of those tickets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and in this episode, I'm going to let that tournament run out. We'll probably get 100 tickets, um, maybe 150 tickets. I'm not going to really grind that hard. Maybe I'll do a little bit but I'm definitely not going to be, I don't have good weapons enough to push for those, you know, first five steps. And so uh, we'll do that in another episode. Um, in the meantime, I may go ahead and do that third tournament. I may go ahead and produce a bunch of stuff. But as typical of these series, I'm not going to do anything that I haven't done before so that you guys can follow along and see everything I do every step of the way. All right, guys. See you next time.